हेलो यस अंदर के गुड ईवनिंग योजु निर्माण आईन सैशन की मेरंदर पागर यूनिसेफ तरफ मरी सी मैट सर्वशिष समग्र शिष वील तरफ वेलकम चुप्तना टापिक वे सैशन टापिक वे लाबोरेटरी इन मोबाइल फोन टापिक विज्ञान आश्रम नीचे किशोर गईकवाड़ ने प्रजेंटर इधी चला मंत्री सैशन इधटी पिल ने मोबाइल लाबोरेटरी उ मन अंदर पिल को ने दीन मीद मं मैं प्राजेक्ट चेयरि अंदर को सो किशोर गुड़क लाइव सैशन प्रसेंट प्लीज ओवर टू यू किशोर ओके थैंक यू सर सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स एंड आल दीचर्स इन चार्ज district science officers and everybody uh, who are available on this in this session i am kishore gaikwad and i am going to conduct this session in english and i hope you will be able to understand it is going to be a simple english i am going to use <clears throat> today's session is you know is going to be quite interesting we are uh, basically using our mobile phones in our day to day life for simple things like calling to our friends right from that to you know making online purchases and many other things so there are many sensors our you know smart mobile phones use in today's sessions we will see what those sensors are and we will see that you know how those sensors basically work what are their applications and how can we as a student how can we use the applications in our smart mobile phones basically to you know do some uh, experiments or use our mobile phones as laboratory you know things like measuring temperature things like uh, you know checking the level of the surface as you know we we measure using the spirit level so there are different sensors there are different applications on our smart mobile phones that basically uses you know various sensors in our mobile phone and we will learn about those you know sensors those applications in our mobile phone and see what all these applications can do so i'm going to play a video and which you will be able to hear an audio of that video and you can go through that i'm going to take questions at the end of the session in atl session we will uh, hello everyone in today's online atl session we will uh, learn about you know how can we use our mobile phones as a laboratory itself um, there are different sensors that each mobile phone has by uh, you know using those sensors a mobile can be used as a laboratory in itself so let us look through the various sensors how they are used how mobile phone works in uh, today's session so let's go ahead so this is how basically an evolution of telephone happened you might see that uh, you know the left most picture is the oldest telephone one uh, could have and uh, the right most picture is today's smartphone in earlier phones uh, it, it was just used for calling you know long distance call or you know um, only to make calls but Uh, as the technology progressed you know today we can use our smartphone as a camera we can use our uh, smartphone to you know do many other activities including online purchases and things like that we will see as we move ahead in into the session so if i ask you this question what are our mobile phones used for obviously to talk to each other to take pictures share with each other to different applications through email to facebook um then uh, you know uh, most of us do recharge uh, electricity recharge phone recharge you know we transfer money to our friends to our relatives uh, we also do ticket booking you know train aeroplane or bus uh, we use gps you know google map to identify the route distance and time required to travel Uh, as i said earlier we also use 
the telephone, uh, sorry, the mobile phone to order things online, including food. Uh, you know, uh, nowadays, or rather, it is always useful to you know check weather conditions, and we can definitely use some different apps on our mobile phones to check the weather condition, whether it is going to rain, what is the temperature outside, what is the humidity outside, so we can check the weather conditions. And people also use mobile phones for you know tracking their fitness activities, how many steps they walked, what was their average heart rate, and things like that. So how does a mobile phone work primarily? So specifically when we talk about a mobile phone uh, to make a call, what it does is mobile phones microphone pick up your voice and there are some sensors like MEMS and MEMS sensor. MEMS is like micro electromechanical sensors. So these sensors and uh, you know the integrated circuits within the mobile phone, they convert your voice into a digital signal and uh, it is passed on to the person on the other side of the, on, on the phone. Basically, your phone uh, you know, uses various sensors inside it, like a light sensor, a sound sensor, a microphone, uh, a camera itself works as a sensor to perform different tasks as per its programming. So what are sensors? So um, if we talk about a word sensor, it literally means you know, something that senses something which senses but what does it sense it sends uh, things like position direction speed pressure temperature of an object basically anything uh, any parameter related to you know surrounding a sensor can sense and it basically you know converts that um, converts that information into some readable format so you and i can read what is the temperature today on our mobile you and i can read what is the average steps that i walked you can you and i can read what is the distance between pune to calcutta on our mobile phones through the gps app so it converts the information of things surrounding to something readable so that's how sensors work and in general if you are aware you, and all of you must be knowing this right so five different senses that a human has the first important sense is a sense of sight something that we can see you know a sense of sound we can hear sense of smell you know something that smells good or bad sense of test something that tests sweet sour or you know spicy sense of touch so all these senses you know human has so likewise the sensors can also you know see through a camera a sensor can sense a sound through a microphone likewise it can also detect a smoke it can also detect uh, the temperature it can also measure the temperature it can measure the height so likewise these different things that are required for a human being to experience something the mobile phone exactly does you know use with the use of sensors so let us basically look into what are different sensors in general as i said earlier there are different sensors like humidity temperature sensor accelerometer infrared ultrasonic touch color smoke and we will see uh, you know the purpose of each of these sensors so these are 14 sensors in our mobile phone and there are more than these 14 sensors nowadays but primarily the accelerometer gps gyroscope magnetometer barometer proximity sensor light sensor touch sensor, camera, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all these are different sensors uh, in a mobile phone. And if we know which sensor use is used for what purpose, we will be able to use our mobile phone as a laboratory. 
we can use it as a lab you know things that uh, we measure into our lab like physics lab chemistry lab uh, we can you know do measure these uh, parameters using mobile itself at home so there are first group of sensors that a mobile phone has is a proximity sensor uh, sorry the position sensor so the position sensor basically has different types magnetometer gps and proximity sensor basically so we'll see you know what these sensors are used for but before we go ahead uh, to know what are the magnetometer what are gps sensors we will first understand you know these terms and i'm sure that you are aware of what is latitude what is longitude uh, longitude you must have learned these terms in your geography right so global positioning system gps coordinates of any position rather any place on the surface of this planet yeah. has these measurements of, of latitude and you know longitude um yeah. so what is latitude yeah. so uh, latitude is basically latitude is basically the uh, how far the place is north or south of the equator so um, if you see this uh, so the any place how north or how south how far south it is and longitude it is the the uh, how far the place is towards east or west from the prime meridian minus 180 degree to you know 180 degree so this is how we uh, uh, specify the location of a place through these uh, latitude and longitude values so let's go ahead let's go ahead uh, so the first uh, sensor that uh, we are going to see and we are also going to you know, see the use of this particular sensor and what uh, uh, you know what application that our mobile phone has that uses this sensors so the first application that uh, our mobile phones have is a compass application all of you are aware of compass right uh, we have learned that also in geography and uh, to uh, to an extent in history also like people used to find the direction using the compass whether they are heading towards north or south or east or west so we have uh, the application i'm going to show it on my mobile phone which you can see on the screen uh, the compass application so uh, this is the compass application uh, on my mobile phone right now it is oriented towards 71 uh, degrees east that is um, you know from north if i move my mobile phone which you can see on the right hand side of the video screen you will see the you know it changes the number so it is 107 108 degrees 109 degrees east and as i turn my mobile phone it also changes the position i turn it you know anti clockwise and you can see how it is moving so this is how it moves so uh, the the icon on the top which also specify the location there is uh, a word, there is a name of the place dp road basically my location of my mobile phone is on so it is detecting uh, where it is basically where am i operating this application from and if i click this i button next to this dp road it will it will tell me the address the latitude and longitude of you know place where i am using this compass from and it also shows the google location here on the mobile phone of that particular place so this is how um, the um, the compass app works there's one button on the top here so as I, as you can see on the screen on the left so how it is showing the address how it is showing the position how it is showing the google map similarly there is one button on the top right the arrow pointing outwards if i click that arrow it will ask me to open this map using different application in my mobile phone 
which uses the maps basically google map or some transport um, cab booking apps like uber or other uh, applications so this facility is also there in this app so which is basically primarily using the magnetometer and global positioning system gps location so now the next app that we are going to see is the google map which is going to tell us the um, uh, which is also which also uses gps and uh, the name of the app is google maps you can find your place on the map you can find your favorite restaurants on the map you can find out how far is your home from your school or how far you know uh, a, a place like pune from your hometown so you can find out a place you can find the route how do you want to travel by road or by train or by plane uh, people mostly use this to identify the route by road they find out the distance as i said earlier and it also tells us the time required to travel from one point to the other so i'm going to open the google map on my screen now you can see on the right side of the uh, screen so this is basically um, google map and uh, you can go here in the search bar there is a search bar on the top you can uh, you can <coughs> type the location you want to search in the search bar so for example if i want to identify if i want to search where vigyan ashram is here it is it will show with the red dot you must all be aware of this and if i keep uh, pressing the uh, red dot here the location dot uh, for three seconds what it will show me is basically the coordinates of the place Vikyan Ashram, the longitude and latitude of Vikyan Ashram using the Google map. So this is how you can use Google map uh, for identifying the location to identify the direction. If I want to find out the direction, so simply I go here, click on the direction and then uh, from my location it tells me it takes 2 hours and 11 minutes from my place. Uh, to reach to the Vikyan uh, by road. So that's how uh, it basically works. So let's see how uh, we can use Google map, uh, sorry, the GPS sensor for. So next thing is uh, we need to make sure that our location is on. Uh, you know, we can also add these GPS coordinates to our photos that we click. So for that purpose or for GPS to run, for Google map to run, you need to make sure that location is on, on your phone. Okay. Next thing is go to, you know, camera, go to the camera and on setting buttons, button of your camera, turn on the location tag, which was already turned in my case. I'm just going to make sure that I'm turning it on so that it will add the location tag to the photos that you click and next thing is once you click the photo for example this one that i clicked some time back um, while the location was on and you can see into this property of this photo so how do you check the property of this photo go to these three dots click on the details and it will tell us the location from where or at which the photo was clicked so this is basically the google location the gps location the latitude and longitude in terms of the google address of the place where i have clicked the photo so you can also tag the photos also tag the location of the place onto your photos so that's how you can use the gps sensor in your mobile the magnetometer sensor in your mobile to identify the direction to identify the location, the position of the place, to find the direction, you can also tag these locations. Uh, you can use different applications um, that use GPS, uh, specifically to order food. You know, you can uh, go to that app, you can book the uh, cab, um, you know, specifically if you go here 
And if you book the cab, you want to book the cab, taxi, you go to Uber and it will tell you where do you want to go. So if you want to go to home and it will already would have picked up your current location. So this is your current location. And then you go here and you, it will tell you the place where it is going to take you to um, in your ride. So let's go to the next application in your mobile phone that you can use that uses basically GPS uh, sensor and uh, which basically calculates the area of a land. You can use use this app to measure the area of the land basically. So if you go here, uh, first step is this app uses the GPS sensor. Name of the app is GPS area app, GPS area calculator. If you go, you click this icon and on this icon, you click the middle one area. Okay. So it will ask you to choose one of the two options, either walking and manual. You can measure the distance by actually walking from one point to the other, carrying your mobile phone in your hand. And you need to also make sure the location is on. Or you can manually select the points in your map. Um, and for that also, you need to keep the location on. Now let's do it by manually. I'm going to click manual uh, measurement. And for example, if I want to just measure, uh, you know, the area of this uh, campus, just see here, another, yeah, point number two, point number three, point number four. Now that I'm going to pull it a little here. Yeah. And on the top, you can see the area measured is 22779 meter square on the top left right so you can measure as a next step you can select the points and you can measure the uh, area you can also save this you click on the save button and you can uh, give a name you know whatever you have measured like for example school ground i'm just you know taking some uh, example and you can you know save this you can click this button and you can save the location of or save the name uh, of, of the land you have measured you can also measure the area of your home uh, you know a, uh, area surrounding to your home or school using this app so next set of app is basically uh, use proximity sensor so proximity sensor uh, is nothing but you know, it detects how close you are to your phone. It locks the screen to avoid accidental touches. For example, uh, you know, if there is an incoming call and you pick it up, it will detect that the phone is very close to your ear and the phone automatically locks the screen so that you don't accidentally touch any other button. So that's how proximity sensors work. The next set of sensors is basically the motion sensors. So by name, you can figure out like motion. It either detects the movement or the motion of the mobile phone. And uh, these two are the sensors, accelerometer and gyroscope. So you can also Google what these sensors are. Accelerometer basically measures the acceleration. For example, if your phone is moved from one point to the other, it detects that there is a movement of your phone the gyroscope or the gyroscope this sensor basically uh, identifies whether your phone is turned it also identifies the angular you know velocity there is a change into the position of your phone if you flip it upside down uh, that is how it works for example if you flip your phone upside down it detects change in the orientation of mobile and how it works it basically if there is an incoming call and if you just want to, uh, and if it is on ringing mode, and if you are in a uh, meeting or if you are in some conversation where you don't want to, you know, have that ring, so what you simply do is you flip your phone upside down. It will automatically 
make the phone uh, on silent mode it will automatically switch off the ring next thing you have already seen yourself is the photo orientation if you want to check the photo uh, and if you rotate the phone from uh, landscape to portrait or from horizontal to vertical position it will also change the photo orientation so that's what your accelerometer does okay next sensor uh, that you all have uh, using the accelerometer uh, the application is basically to check the spirit level okay now just let's see this part yeah so spirit level also uses uh, the accelerometer sensor so the name of this application is bubble level uh, level tool which is this one and uh, <clears throat> what this application is used basically to check the level of the surface you know um, whenever you are going to make something you need to uh, or assemble something you need to make sure that the surface is flat right it is not tilted to any axis on any angle um, for example on my on the right side of the screen you will see as i move my phone i'll just rotate my phone i'll turn it and the bubble on the x axis that is top horizontal it is moving so it is basically lifted by 33.2 degrees on the left if i simply move my phone again lift on the right hand side up the bubble is moving on the right hand side so my phone is basically tilted on the right hand side by 30.8 degrees similarly if i turn my phone on the y axis now this vertical bubble on the vertical scale it is going up uh, sorry it is going down rather so it is minus 29 degrees or approximately and if i turn my phone up on the top so it will go the bubble will go up so my phone is tilted 30 31 degrees uh, on the front side on the top side i am just laying the phone again flat you will see x and y axis to be at 0 degrees so that's the purpose of the spirit level so next application the next uh, sensor in your phone is basically a microphone microphone itself is a uh, sensor so the application that we have on mobile uh, basically is a sound meter and you can see this sound meter uh, as i speak uh, in front of my phone it is going to change the level of the sound so what does this uh, what sensor does it use is it uses the microphone of your phone and uh, uh, it checks the level of the sound around us so if i just keep if i just speak loudly the level of the sound is increasing from 70 to 80 uh, decibels so the unit of the measurement is db decibels and you can figure out you can use this apps basically uh, use this app to measure the noise in your area with the help of you know your mobile phone specifically during festival when there are uh, you know loud music and uh, crackers you can also measure the level of the sound and if there is if it is beyond you know acceptable level you know you can report the level of the sound to your local gram panchayat or you know municipal corporation so this is how you can also use the sound meter app to check the level of the sound next set of uh, sensors are basically environmental sensors which are uh, nothing but thermometer barometer thermometer basically measures the temperature barometer measures the at atmospheric pressure ambient light sensor is basically a light sensor your mobile phone uses if you uh, if there is a dark in your room it will also dim uh, it will you know make sure that the uh, brightness of the screen is lowered if if you go into the dark if you go into the you know sh uh, shiny uh, area where there is lot of light already it will automatically reduce the brightness of your phone so that is the light sensor that works in your phone and then uh, other let's see how temperature measurement you can do uh, using an application so basically there is an app called as room temperature app 
so this is how it looks like yeah this is how it looks like so what it does is it basically measures the temperature name of the temperature uh, uh, it uses basically the temperature sensor in your mobile phone i just will click this i button next to the indoor yeah how it works it tell it is telling me we are measuring room temperature with your phone temperature sensor so see it is telling you you need to put your phone idle for a few minutes and your phone will show your room temperature with an accuracy of plus or minus 3 degrees celsius right so this is how it measures the temperature you need not have a thermometer your phone can itself work as a thermometer for out indoor temperature for outdoor temperature it is also showing the outdoor temperature and it uses uh, you know the outdoor temperature on the internet basically this application open weather they also use sensors to gather the temperature and humidity data of you know your location so you can see humidity is 49% air pressure is some uh, 10 uh, 1012 uh, hydropascals it is also showing me the wind speed and all so this is how you can measure the temperature indoor and outdoor your phones also auto shut off you know if they are exposed to extreme temperatures in both cold and hot weather if you put your phone in the sun for too long it will automatically switch off or if it accidentally gets into the too cold weather it will switch off next uh, <clears throat> uh, sensor that we are going to use is a, a barometer sensor and the application that we have is a barometer app which looks like this what it does is it measures it uses the barometer sensor it uh, uh, measures the atmospheric pressure it also measures the altitude of a place from average mean sea level amsl so uh, it also uses gps at the same time and it is telling me the atmospheric pressure in uh, the place that i am sitting is 1011 hydropascals and uh, uh, if i just go sorry yeah if i just go here it will also tell me the altitude of the place uh, that is 567 uh, meters from average mean sea level so you can check you know your place how uh, at what average height it is from the average mean sea level and what is the atmospheric pressure in your area you can also check that so that is how you can use barometer to basically uh, evaluate and uh, you know the atmospheric pressure and you know your average mean sea level the height of your place altitude of your place from the average mean sea level so so this is a barometer if i just move next or uh, you can figure out different sensors being used by other apps in your mobile phone now you have already learned how different apps uses you know different uh, sensors in your mobile phone you can figure out now by yourself just by you know the the main use of the application if you know what that application is used for you can basically you uh, understand and you know figure out yourself what that application uh, what sensor that application basically uses for example google fit as i said this is used for fitness what does this uh, you know what different sensors this app must be using then there is a google translate app which translates or which also converts text to speech the voice recorder app on your mobile what does what sensor does it use your zoom app there is accuweather app then you lock your mobile phone by lock and unlock your mobile phone by uh, your finger uh, scanning so what does what sensor does that uh, function must be using so you can figure out yourself if you have any question or you can post them on the channel we are uh, available on the youtube channel uh, and we can definitely answer your questions there 
so thank you for you know watching this so uh you have seen you have learned about different sensors and how they are used in different applications you can explore by yourself at your home you can check the smartphones you can download these applications that we have suggested in your phones and you can yourself explore your smartphones as you no know, laboratory you can check the sound you can okay so as i said you know you have learned these different sensors and the applications in your smartphone we have learned about different sensors right from temperature sensor to accelerometer sensor to sound sensor that is microphone your camera itself is a sensor so this meeting that is being run on zoom is basically using my camera on my laptop so it is the camera itself is a sensor your microphone is a sensor your uh, mobile phone has a thermometer it, the temperature sensor it works as a thermometer it also checks the pressure atmospheric pressure so it does lot of things that you know our different equipments different uh, tools can do in our laboratory so you can use your mobile phone as a lab from now on and i'm sure that you know through this video you are you are you now have this video with you in this video you all you had information about all the sensors all the uh, name of all the all those applications in your mobile phone you can take a smartphone of your uh, someone from your family uh, your teachers can also demonstrate that to you you know on their smartphones download those applications on the smartphone and uh, try you know these different applications they perfectly they work perfectly fine and uh, you know you can start using those from now on so happy exploring these sensors and application as a laboratory from now on thank you very much bye bye thank you very much uh, you. kishor ji uh, your, ni your nice presentation you have given really uh, very wonderful so there are uh, i am wondering while uh, seeing your presentation that these many Uh, sensors are there in our mobile phone and uh, these many tasks and uses we can make use of the mobile really fantastic hope all the students might have uh, gone through and they will make use of this uh, your uh, inputs thank you sir thanks for your great presentation so we'll thank you very much bye for today we'll meet in another session next week thank you thank you see you next week bye bye